Welcome to Fuji Win YouTube channel. This video is a complementary to the medium story Secure Angular 11 with Identity Server 4 via Admin UI. In this short video, I will go over the step described in part 1 git clone angular app and identity server 4 admin ui from github and then run and verify both apps are running on local host let's begin with task 1.1 git clone sample angular app we are going to clone the angular project from github using visual code When start Visual Code, uh, you will see the option to clone Git repository. If you have a project open, you can go to the view command palette. Type in clone, select Git clone, and then enter in the URL of the symbol app, uh, Angular app. Hit enter. You got a prompt for a folder to save the source code. I'm going to put it in C apps, dev kit, clients, and select repository location. The code got pulled and down to the local uh, desktop and I'm going to click on open I'll go back to the view menu here and select the terminal or the shortcut is uh, control tutor at the command line got to enter in npm i for install this command will restore the npm package that uh, this angular apps uh, need it may take a few minutes to restore the package depend on your network speed Let's move on to task 1.2, git clone the identity server for admin UI. In this task, we are going to clone the identity server for admin UI project from GitHub using Visual Studio. I launched Visual Studio 2019. Select the option clone a repository. In the repository uh, location, enter the URL of the token project dot admin UI. In the path is where the source code gonna be saved to the local hard drive. Enter in uh, C apps uh, dev kit token service version two token project. Click on clone. The source code from the GitHub repository um, get download and save to the local, and then the um, Visual Studio gonna open up the solution. You can find the projects within the solution in the source folder. Notice that there are three web projects in this solution, and you can see that by the uh, the icon globe uh, next to each project. Right mouse click on the solution and select properties. 
when running the solution, you need to uh, set the uh, three web project to start. For the action column here, select start for project token project.admin. Do the same for token project.admin.api. And the last project here is the token project.sts.identity, which is a uh, instance of identity server 4 to support login. Click on start and then OK. Let's move on to task 1.3 run sample Angular and identity server 4 admin UI on local host. To run the application, start the identity server 4 admin UI solution first and then the Angular app. The identity server 4 admin UI uh, solution, there are three web projects uh, inside of the solution. And when we run the solution, the first project token project.admin, uh, I'm considered that as the uh, uh, GUI, the front end, they're going to run on local host 44303. The token projects.sts.identity, uh, this is the identity server 4, an instance of identity server 4 running to support login and is running on the local host port 44310. The admin UI communicate to uh, the back end through the REST API. So there's the token project.admin.api is run on the local host port 44302. And of course we have the sample Angular application and that is typically uh, is run on the, the, the port of 4200. To run the identity server for admin UI in Visual Studio, you can run the solution by hitting F5 or click on start button here. You should see three instances of Chrome's uh, running. This is the identity uh, server 4 instance running to support login. This is the REST API. And this one is the um, admin UI front end. Uh, right now it's redirect to the identity server uh, for login. And if I successfully log in, then it's going to redirect back to the, uh, the admin UI. To run the Angular front end while inside Visual Code, go to the terminal screen and enter the command ng serve dash o. The dash o is a shortcut to automatically open Angular in the browser with the URL localhost port 4200. We now have a sample Angular and identity server for admin UI running on the local host. In the next part 2 tutorial, we will configure Angular to talk to identity server 4. See you next time. Thank you for watching.